everyone, it is great to see you here once again on Dee's Delights. In the last video, I told you I'm making food for my father's uh, retirement community. I was crazy enough to sign up for that, so I'm making a lot of food. We're going to have a lot of fun, and I hope you guys have a lot of fun too making homemade Caesar salad dressing. Now, I hate to tell you I'm not going to eat a salad today in front of you. You know why? Because I'm full from test tasting the bread, the peanut butter bites, and everything else I've been making today. So today I'm just going to test taste the dressing itself. This is the first time I am making this dressing and there is one interesting ingredient that I thought, oh my gosh, do I want to put that in there. Probably some of you already know what it is. Anchovy paste. Some recipes called that you could actually get the anchovies and chop them up. Oh my goodness gracious, you know anchovy is gross looking in my opinion. Uh, so I went with the paste. Sorry folks, no chopping of anchovies today. We're just going to use the paste. I guess an anchovy, what is that, like a little fishy or something like that? I'll put it up on the screen what uh, actually an anchovy is, but I'm pretty sure it's a little fish of sorts. It's an ugly, little, wormy looking thing. Oh my gosh. But I'm sure it'll be fabulous in this dressing. So what you're going to need for this dressing, I'm going to be tripling this because I'm making this for about 25 people. So, but I'm going to put on the screen and tell you right now what you need to make for about 10 servings. Two small garlic cloves, minced. One teaspoon anchovy paste. And right here there's a note to look for that in the tuna section, the canned tuna section in the supermarket. That's exactly where I found it. Because I have never ever in my life shopped for anchovy paste, nor did I know that it existed. You're going to need two tablespoons of freshly squeezed lemon juice, and that says from about one lemon, or you can use the handy dandy real lemon because that is equivalent one for one ratio to real juice. So, I like that better. One teaspoon of Dijon mustard. One teaspoon of Worcestershire sauce. One cup of mayonnaise. She says the best quality such as Hellman's Real. Well, you know what? Mayonnaise is getting expensive. So I got this at the store. Never heard of it. <laughs> Let's hope it tastes good. Duke's Real Mayonnaise. Gotta give everything a try once in a while. One half cup of freshly grated Parmesan. I am not using freshly grated today. I'm using Parmesan and Romano cheese and it's grated. And it's still the goodbye date. I, I still think I have time. Best by July 17th of 2022. We're still good. One quarter teaspoon of salt and one quarter teaspoon of freshly ground black pepper. Once again, no fresh here. Right out of the little can. So that's what you're going to need. We're going to just slop everything together and see what happens. Remember, this is the first time I'm doing this. You get a medium bowl if you're not tripling the recipe like I am. I will get the large purple based bowl. So it says first, in a medium bowl, whisk together the garlic, anchovy paste, lemon juice, Dijon mustard, and Worcestershire sauce. You know what? I'm going to measure out the anchovy paste. I'm a little nervous. Oh, it almost looks like a medical type. You know, <laughs> when you're prescribed like a steroid lotion or something like that. <laughs> we'll see. Ooh, lordy. I know how these work. Oh. Okay. You need one teaspoon. I need one tablespoon. It's not too bad looking. You know, they've already been crushed, the little critters. I'll start squeezing it from the bottom and there's a little bit of juice in there too. I tell you what, this stuff was expensive at the local store. I think this was like $4.50 and I'm thinking, oh my gosh. Okay, I don't know if that's quite a taste. No, it's not. I have to keep on going. <laughs> I have to keep on a going. So anywho, that's good enough. This is not impressive looking folks. It's, it's not really attractive either. <laughs> But if it makes the dressing taste fabulous, just pretend you didn't know that was put in there. Alrighty. Oh, I can smell it too. It smells like fish. 
You will be using two small cloves of garlic minced, or you can use about a half a teaspoon of dried minced garlic. So let's go ahead and start. We'll put that in there. The anchovy paste, the smelly, smelly anchovy paste. That would have been one teaspoon for you. Two tablespoons of freshly squeezed lemon juice. I will be using six tablespoons. One teaspoon of Dijon mustard. You need one teaspoon of Worcestershire sauce. Let's whisk that together. I'm gonna to show you what I'm looking at. Just gonna show you. You have your own thoughts of what you think it looks like, but you know, I'm just gonna show you really quick. Like I said, not too appealing looking. No siree. Next it says add the mayonnaise. You would be adding one cup. I'm going to be adding three. They recommend though Hellman's. I'm using Duke's. <laughs> then we're going to add The Parmigiano, you would be adding a half cup. I'm adding one and a half cups. And then go ahead and throw in your pepper and salt. And you would be using a quarter teaspoon of each. Okay, I'm gonna get the whisk back out and whisk that all together. Now it's smelling like Caesar dressing. And it's looking like Caesar dressing. It says, you can adjust the seasonings now to your liking. And the dressing will keep well in the fridge for about a week. I'm using this dressing tomorrow. And I'm probably going to put it in little individual serving size containers. So here you go. That's the finished product. I'm a little scared to taste it. But I'm going to. Just with the tip of my pinky. You know what? It's pretty good. Even with the anchovies and how disgusting it looked in the beginning, I'm going to show you a close-up here. Looks like regular dressing now. I think you'll like it. Turned out really good. What you want to do is get a little romaine lettuce, put some croutons on top, and also not the grated Parmesan, but did you ever see the shredded Parmesan? Sprinkle some of that on top, maybe sprinkle a little more salt and pepper, and you have got yourself a delicious Caesar salad. So thanks for joining me here once again on D's Delights. I hope you have a fabulous, fabulous day, everyone. And I'll see you real soon.